ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਭਾਈ ਹਰਸਿਮਰ ਜੀ ਸਿੰਘ we just finished uh from this camp it was a retreat for all the ssas on the east coast that got together what are your takeaways uh what are your thoughts you know uh what the experience you have um uh, with gursikhi in general what the experience you have of organizing uh camps like camp kudrat what is your experience what is your takeaways from this camp that uh was in done by uh these things you know i think the talk that honestly comes to my mind is tal dharm daya ka put i think a lot of the the sangat in the diaspora have a lot of daya but they have not been shown what kind of panth this is what is our perception of god what is our perception of panth what 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 kind of mindset should we be having and i think that like when you have like sings and chords like that that are all like completely like very compassionate very open to learning it it makes it really enjoyable because even you learn you learn how many things we how many things we take as just preconceived uh, notions uh, we 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 think they already know these things we breeze over them and then later we're like oh wow like you know we have to talk about what it means to wash your hands and sit down in the bath we have to talk about what is god you know there's not a god up in the heavens it's 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 all pervading what all pervading means what is free will like all of these things i feel like you know having these conversations is the root of sikhi and um to have maraj show that uh it was a blessing and i think that as someone that's like always gone to camps being able to see a camp um take place instead of organizing one it was just nice to to be able to sit back and just focus on the prachar and not on the the bedding and the cleaning the floors and you know all that kind of stuff you're just focus on um what questions do people have and and how can we help we said i think that's a great point you mentioned about uh protocols you know we we take some protocols for granted from granted you know yeah for a lot of sang it's it's very new to them you know and i think oh, i definitely learned that you know we can't apply our uh, experience of being in gurusav darbar on everyone yes know? and things that we think are basic and don't need to be taught you know maybe they need to they do need to be taught yeah you know? uh because i do remember when i did when, when we do kids camps we teach them we teach them how to come into the darbar we teach where you have to wash your hands the how to do mathar take how to do jor sab how to do prakar we teach all these little things and to a older group we just sometimes assume that they know but if someone's coming to gurus darbar for the first time you know especially these youth camps are a great experience or a great uh learning curve for that type of sang that that's going to a gurudwara for the first time maybe you know in their life as an adult for them they might need a, a little rehearsal or reminder of how to do this yeah um so i definitely took that lady uh one thing i wanted to ask was what what's your what's your biggest um, uh, emotion that you you carry during that time what's your new, what's in your mind when keetan is going on when katha is going on what do you think you know i <clears throat> whenever i see uh, everybody get together yeah especially when you know it's sangat from all over and they've all come for the purpose of meeting maharaj and you know it's it, it's it's different from like a regular gurdwara where everyone is just kind of coming uh to matha take and then socialize yeah it's it's a lot more focused on um it's a lot more focused on them wanting to have self discovery yeah so when they sit down and start doing kirtan you feel that prem mm. and i look at it and all i can think about is ah maharaj da panthia like ede cho khushbu hondi ah maharaj de and it's so beautiful because you see how guru gobind singh ji talks about his khalsa in hi ki kirpa ke sajhe hum hai ki ehna di kirpa this khalsa ehna di kirpa de naal apan sajhe hain and that applies to every individual when we look at the khalsa ehna ehna de tor tarike prem bhavna maharaj vaste ehna di sahaj vasta ehna di everything is what gives us love and light and reminds us to be better um so that's that's what i think about i totally agree i have yourself i i felt and this is something i felt from this camp and i felt from other like minded camps uh, or like scenario camps where when a new group who is coming to sangat like this for the first time you know doing kirtan like this together they're so innocent mindedness you know they're innocent innocent pav na brings this aura out you know yeah. brings this uh, emotion out that so contagious that me being 
dust going on, different Sangat groups and stuff, you feel different energies, you know? Yes. So coming to an environment like this, you feel just shanti. Why? Because there's just so just so much power, now so much. That the way to obtain Ragurai Paramatma, God, Creator, Vaikaraji, is through innocent love. Yes. You know? And I feel like when some groups like this uh, uh, have that type of love, that type of innocent love, it just rubs off on you and you just feel like, wow, I'm in such kind. Why? Right. And it's all due to that, to that Sangat. You know, and one thing comes to mind is, uh, a, I, I remember I heard Katha from a, a Mahapurk and they were, they were saying that I am not high because I am doing the Katha. But it is the Sangat who is high that is letting me share these stories of Guru Sahib. That by singing the stories of Akalpak Vaigarji, Sada Sukhoi. Right. That you get blessed with so much ha forever happiness. You know, and the nice thing about that is when you're doing Katha, and, and you know, you're obviously you're doing it for yourself. But when you see someone's nitr, you yeah. see someone's eyes tearing up, yeah. you start to feel their emotion. Yeah. And then you, it's like you're watching a Gursik and they're praying for Guru Sahib's story. Guru Sahib Sakhi, their jivan. And seeing that love between a Gursik and his Guru's story or her Guru's uh, story, yeah. it makes yeah. you tear up. Oh yeah. It makes it makes such it, a beautiful it, it, experience. You wanna like matha take to that experience yeah. of, of Prem happening right in front right, of you. Right, yeah. And I think that's why like doing Pachar, you know, it's not even about uh, there's no place for the ego. Yeah. Because you yourself are just in Pajan, Nam Simran. Because yeah. you're so happy to see Gursiks meeting with Gurus and hoping ki Maharaj Sanuvi he Prem Bakshu. Sanuvi he Kirpa Karoki that we can experience. That. We get to learn from the sun. Yeah. Guru Hargobind Ji Maharaj, within Suraj Prakash, they gave teachings on how Katha happens. And they mentioned qualities that the speaker needs to have, the Bhakta, oh, yeah. and the Sarota, the listeners need to have. Ji. Seven qualities of the speaker and seven qualities of the learner, of the, of the listener. When those unite, then Katha is truly happening, not in this world, but in such kind. Why? Wow, yeah. you know? So I feel like as an equal role the speaker has, equal role the listeners have. You know, I really felt like the listeners did their job in this camp and they presented those qualities. And they, they did so much more than just the job. Like I I left there with the organizers and the Sevadars yeah. feeling like how am I ever gonna pay back? How am I ever gonna oh karja me have this at Lama of the amount of seva they did for us. Why? They knew the allergies I had. Yeah. They were they were cooking special meals, bringing them to me to the side. Like, oh, it was yeah. a lot. I'm not used to that. Normally, I'm like, all right, I, oh, I guess take the salad, so yeah. the dal, yeah. you know? Like, but they were taking care of us in such a way where I felt like, what can I do yeah. to do save of you? Because yeah. this is this is overwhelming love. Exactly. And then, like, when we were leaving, yeah. they they gave us these khande from Buddha Dhal. <laughs> and I, I cannot, I cannot even fathom uh, have, having ever received this, and I, I just feel like I know they're they are gonna say kitusi katha kiti or you know however, but I felt like empty-handed. Like, what can I give you for this love that you're giving us? Hundred percent. I feel like uh, I feel the saint. I feel the like sevadars has so much bhavana, and these this that bhavana faith that faith only comes through sanskars, yeah. values, values that they were taught. Sometimes we think that. Sanskars are coming because we went somewhere, we received some wisdom or our parents taught us something, which is true. But for you to receive that wisdom in this life is, a, is the proof of your bandagi, your commitment to the Guru in your previous lives. Let me say sanskar that you see today for of, of Bhavana is not just this 10 years, 15, 20, 35 years of, of, of hard work. It's the hard work from many lifetimes. Yes. Many, you know, game sakkatakal. No, and those, you know, um, they say, like, I have, like, a personal measurement of, like, you know, just to remind myself, like, do I have your kirpa, Maharaj? 
right? Everything is Guru Prasad. Is the Guru Prasad there? And I feel like a good way to like self-check if it's there is when you're surrounded by this Sangat, when you're surrounded by this Prem, when you're surrounded by the Sharan of a Kalpurk, you're, and then like, you know, you have Sangat members saying like, how connected they felt, how much rust they had. That makes me feel like Shaheed Singhs were there. It makes me feel like Guru Sahib was there, Hazar and Hazar, putting their hand on the heads of everybody, the entire Sangat. And that feeling is, that's another different feeling. For a to be successful, definitely Guru Prasad is needed. Yes. The Guru's grace is needed. And this camp, what I've seen is how successful it is. Why? Because so many people got to experience the love of Guruji, the fragrance of Guru Sikhs, and the fragrance of Vani, the fragrance of Kirtan and Katha. And for that reason, that, like you said, Riji, 100% that's proof to show that Baba Deep Singh Ji, Baba Fula Singh Ji, their hands were on our heads. Right. Guru Gov Singh Ji, Mata Sahib Dema Ji, they were all Aung sung with us. So, buddy, can call me Maharaj Ji. And uh, I'm really happy that you were able to come from the West Coast to the East Coast. So, next week you're coming from the East to the West. To the West, there you go. Why is it Was the East above Chandra Devi? So, Sandy, thank you so much. We hope to be providing uh, more content like this in the future, where uh, whatever Das meets Paisal Ji or Paisal meets Das, or we meet other Gur Sikhs, we wish to have that, uh, that organic conversation. Uh, to you. So, Guru Kirpa Ji, Paul Khatte, Vaheguru Ji Ka Ghazal, Vaheguru Ji Ki Khatte.